What's up, everybody? Johnny English here uh, in a different place uh, than my studio. <laughs> um, I'm actually in the hospital, and uh, I wanted to update you guys, maybe do some... Uh, I had back surgery, and if it helps uh, any of you out there that are thinking about it or um, debating it, or if you're about to have it and you kind of want to know what to expect... Um, it's, this is day two for me. Surprisingly, I don't have that much pain. Um, I, I, uh, I was really expecting more pain to be quite honest. And by the way, I'm using my iPad. I, I don't have my, I don't have any, uh, speakers or any, uh, microphones to use or anything like that. So I apologize for the audio, but, um, uh, so I'm in, uh, I had my surgery at BSA Hospital in Amarillo, Texas. The The people I've been dealing with are great. So when I checked in to the surgery center, um, it was a little while. They took me back. And, of course, you have to uh, get into your gown. You're, you're completely nude under the gown at that point. And then you put all your stuff away. Um, and they wheel you in to uh, – they start – you have to go through a series of, um, they put your armbands up, you know, I've got all these armbands. I look like I'm, <laughs> I look like I'm in, uh, Louisiana or something for, um, Mardi Gras. But, uh, I also still have my drain. This is my drain tube. That's gross, but it's, it's, uh, you have to have that after the surgery to drain stuff. But, um... I don't know why this. I feel like this is the opposite. I, I'm, I, but the camera's right there. I don't, I don't understand. But whatever, whatever. Sorry, sorry for the video and the audio. Uh, maybe I'll use my phone next time if I record. Um, so anyway, the first day, um, you know, they told me they got me in there. Um, I remember going into the surgery, into the room for surgery, and they said. Okay, this is probably going to be your last conscious moment, and within minutes, I was out. I mean, they, whatever they gave me, knocked me right on out, and the next thing I know, I was in the recovery room. Um, it took about an hour and a half for the surgery. It was a T lift. If you don't, if you know anything about T L I F, it was uh, uh, my disc was completely gone, and they had to raise, you know separate the vertebrae, put the, put the, uh, uh, whatever that, whatever that, uh, cage is, they put a cage in there between the vertebrae and then they put the screws, uh, four screws in there to hold that vertebrae in and hold everything nice and solid so that, uh, bone growth takes place. And it's, it's fusion. It's basically a bone fusion. You're, you're, they're fusing your spine. So, um, a lot of people recommend not to do it, not to have it done. I had people telling me don't do it, um, but I didn't really have a choice. I mean, I had, I had my vertebra, my my disc was gone. My vertebrae was pinching the nerve like it was flat, like it was pinching it flat. So I was having some serious complications. Um, I had fallen a couple months ago and made it worse. So it it basically got me to this point where I needed surgery. And uh, everything went together. They actually set the surgery up in a couple of days. It was actually really quick. All, all this went so fast, it's like my head spinning. Trying to get everything. I had to take time off work, obviously. Getting my short term. Trying to, I'm still trying to get that set up. I'm still trying to get all this other stuff set up. I'm going to be out of work about four months, probably. So, uh, which sucks. But, you know, I, I need to get this done or I'm not going to be walking at 60 years old. You know, basically. But, uh, so anyway, you know, I came out of recovery. I had a fantastic recovery nurse. I remember her. She was funny. She was so good. So awesome. I didn't, I don't think I had any nausea because I asked before the surgery, Hey, can you put some anti-nausea in? And they did. And so I didn't have any sickness afterwards. Um, I was awake. I was pretty coherent. I didn't have anybody there, uh, with me, but, um, the nurses were really, really good, really, really good. So if you have surgery here at BSA, I mean, I, you know, it seems the, the nurses, especially recovery are really, really good. So, 
uh, brought me up to my room, and I don't remember, I don't really remember coming up to my room, I just remember being in my room, but uh, I remembered recovery for a little bit, and then I must have passed out again, and then they brought me up to my room, so I had a, a room by myself, which is awesome, and, uh, you know, all the people that I've dealt with, I've dealt with several people, day shift and night shift, there's so many different people involved, and they've all been awesome here at BSA, but uh, day one, I like a couple hours after my surgery, I wanted to walk. I wanted to get out and start walking, you know, but they wouldn't let me. And um, a few hours after that, I tried to talk them in. They still wouldn't let me. And uh, uh, I didn't really have much pain at all. I didn't hardly have any pain right after. I mean, but there was still anesthesia to wear off. And that was that's the thing, you know, all the numbness stuff and all the anesthesia had to wear off. Now the second day, day two, I'm getting pain, but it's tolerable. It's not that bad. I mean, they've got, they're putting me on pain meds every four hours. I get to take stuff like Toradol and I don't know what all else is involved. Um, but it's not that bad. I'm, I mean, it's tolerable. My egg, my legs ache a little bit. And, and like I said, the area on my back, the incision is, is starting to be sore and starting to hurt. But, um, I'm able to walk and I'm, I'm walking fine. They're all kind of surprised that I'm up walking and walking as well as I am. I don't need help. Um, so occupational has already signed off on me to go home. Uh, I'm just waiting on my doctor to come in, my surgeon to come in tomorrow morning, uh, on day three to see if I can go home on day three. So, uh, I'm hoping and praying that's the case. Um, I love it here, but I kind of want to go home. I just, uh, you know, you just want to be home. Right. And, uh, uh, but everybody here has been great. You know, it's, it's, um, it's a lot better situation than I thought it was going to be. It's the, uh, it's, it's been, like I said, the pain has been not there. It's, it's there, but it's not as much as I thought it was going to be. This has not been as debilitating as I thought it was going to be. So if you're going to have this surgery, it doesn't mean you're going to have the same. Everybody's different, and I got lucky. You know, I got really lucky. I mean, I prayed a lot before I went in, and maybe God took care of me. You know, that's very possible. Uh, you can think what you want, say what you want, or whatever. But And I know I had people praying for me, but um, I've always been able to, I don't know, I've always been able this is my first surgery, too. I've never, I, I made it 54 years without being cut open, and this is my very first surgery. So uh, I did pretty good, you know, I, I did pretty well. God took care of me. The good people here at BSA hospitals took care of me. And my surgeon, Dr. Paulus, really took care of me. Um, so hopefully this fixes my problem and the numbness and all that goes away and I'm able to lead a better life and be able to get out and walk and exercise and uh, make sure that it doesn't happen to other discs in my, because all the other discs in my back seem to be okay. Um, I, I I got lucky it was just the one disc, but uh, L4, L5, I believe. So um, that's it. That's day two of, uh, I couldn't really record on day one because they didn't let me have anything. I didn't have anything to record with until the second day. Um, but that's that. So We'll see. I'll update you guys in the next few days um, to kind of let you know what's going on, you know, pain levels and all that good stuff. So uh, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and liking, subscribing and all that good stuff. And uh, this is why I've been haven't been doing much YouTube lately is, is because of this. But hopefully we get this squared away. I can go out. I'll have time to do some YouTube while I'm off work waiting for this to heal. And uh, we can do more testing with the XH2, XH2S. Uh, I do have a little special thing coming that I'm going to use to record the EVF that's not in Atmos. And uh, we'll, we'll get that done. And so that can at least show you. You can see what I'm seeing. It'd be uh, kind of awesome. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you again real, real soon.